What up, it's your boy T Bird here with a new reaction. So I'm back with another new video involving my anime sub versus dub adventure. Reaction adventure. So yeah, this is um still trying to get I'm doing different videos of sub version dub, why sub is better, why dub is better, why and this is again some research to really, really see if I can finally cave in the sub. I'm caving in a little bit because I have a second anime that may be dub cut. Me the sub cut. That is Inuyashiki. That shit is lit, though. I'm a little fucked up a little bit. I had to watch the second episode. Because the dude, Hero, he a savage. He done killed, like, a whole family. in random-ass family, though. That was, fucked, that was fucked up right there, man. Well, other than that, that made a cut, man. I'm going to check it out. That's how good it is. Is that good? Well, cause, only because it's on sub only. They come with a dub. I'm sorry, best off. <laughs> best off with a sub. With a sub if the dub come on best off, I'm rewatching it from the dub. <laughs> but, that shit's lit, though. I like it. So, let's watch this new anime sub versus dub. And if I get an idea who these guys is. Okay. So, I'll take a little long while I look at it. Because sometimes when I say stuff from watch later... They um I open up another window. They like to um cuss off the um description. So this is by Bob Sam Samurai Anime Reviews. So this is made back in 2015. So let's see. So let's see um about this one. This is uh, anime sub anime discussion sub brush dub. Let's check it out. See what Mr. Bob would say. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the age-old question of sub, sub versus, versus dub. dub. But first I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to stay up to date with all my latest anime reviews and discussions. So, sub versus dub. What do I prefer? Honestly, it really just depends. And that's the whole answer to any of this. It's all subjective and it's relative to who you are, what you want to watch, how you want to watch it, also how good the voice actors are. Some people out there only want to watch something that's completely subtitled, never watch anything that's dubbed, and then you have people on the flip side of this who only want to watch dubbed anime. And honestly, I think that if you're on both sides of that boat, you're kind of missing out either way, but I think you're missing out more if you're sticking to dub only because obviously there's much more anime that hasn't been dubbed that has been dubbed. What's mm -hmm. my take on the argument? I'm in the middle of the fence here. I like both sub okay. and dub. And it really just depends on what the series is about and also if the voice actors are any good. Say, for example, you have series with amazing dubs such as Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, Code Geass. There are plenty of great dubs out there. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to want to watch those series with a dubbing to it. It's a more natural and relaxing experience uh -huh. to me. You sit there and you watch it. You don't have to read anything. However, of course, certain other series, uh, Serial Experiments Lane, Ergo Proxy, Paranoia Agent, series where you have to learn things and uncover, and the translation is very important, then, of course, I'm going to want to watch the subtitle. And with me, I watch subtitle a lot because I watch a lot of series that have never come over to the United States. And, of course, I like to watch some psychological or mystery series where you have to uh, pay close attention. So, of course, to me, both a good dub and both watching it in subtitle are two ways of viewing anime that I really appreciate. I think a lot of people have a big misunderstanding of dubbing in anime. If you look at English dub, I don't know about anywhere else in the world because I hear there are some really good Spanish and Italian. Italian and uh, dubs from other countries, but as far as English goes, which is the only language that I'm fluent in, uh, with the voice acting in the United States, it's gotten a lot better in the past few years. The worst you can find with dub nowadays is just that it's going to be passable. Of course, 10 years, from, uh, 10 years ago, talking about the early 2000s, talking about even in the 90s. In the 90s, we had pretty bad voice acting. Also, in the 80s, it was atrocious. But yeah. it's come a long way in the early That's 2000s. That's the thing, yeah, exactly. That were, uh, decent or they passable. Was on a, and and it was still on a rise. Like, it, like what I said, it was just a rise. Their favorite series are being dubbed that way. And I can understand yeah. someone's perspective if you have this love of your life series that's your favorite of all time and it gets a terrible dub and then people would prefer to watch that and have this misunderstanding hey, of the uh, series. This little little uh, servant thing. They had a uh, Once Peak game on PS3? That's pretty dope. Right. I can understand that argument, but nowadays dubbing has become much better. The actors are more skilled. It's become more of a uh, 
known thing to do in the states over here. There are a lot of voice actors. Say, for example, lately, if you're watching a dubbed anime, you're not going to find as many recognizable voices because there are some new voice actors there as where, I'm talking five, six years ago, you could watch three or four different series and recognize everybody by name. And to me, that kind of breaks the experience. Like, hey, there's Greg Ayers. He was Yamazaki and he was everybody there. Um, to me, that kind of breaks the experience. That is just a minor thing. It's something... I'm sorry. I was looking. I was listening to it, but like, I kind of missed it. But let me see. And recognize as well, there are some new voice actors can understand that argument but nowadays dubbing has become much better the actors are more skilled it's become more of a mm -hmm. uh, known thing to do in the states over here there are a lot of voice actors say for example lately if you're watching a dubbed anime you're not going to find as many recognizable voices because there are some new voice actors there as where i'm talking five six years ago you could watch three or four different series and recognize everybody by name and to me that kind of breaks the experience like hey there's greg he was yamazaki and he was everybody there i don't know why um, people to take me, that kind of that. of breaks the experience that is not just really a minor me. thing it's something that i usually put to the back of my head after a few episodes of watching it after I discover who's who and that's something that I don't ever get with subtitle because there are so many Japanese voice actors that you will never uh, really catch somebody who's the same voice actor maybe some people will but I, that's something that I've never done so of course at the end of the day the argument breaks down to uh, it just depends on what you're watching who's dubbing it and who you are as a person what you like to watch but if you're somebody who only watch, wants to watch subtitle anime and will not watch even a minute of right. dubbed anime I recommend just to try something new with a dub from a few years ago. Try that and see if your expectations change. And for somebody out there who only wants to watch dubbed anime, you are missing out on 80% of anime. If you like anime that much, you will at least try and get with the subtitles. I know it's difficult at first to read it on the bottom yeah, of the screen, is. even with me sometimes. Like, I'll go for a while and I'll only want to watch dubbed anime just for like a month or so. And then once I get back into sub-series, it's a little bit tricky, but then once you get used to it, it's just like you're watching the series and you don't even notice the words there. You read it that quick, and it's not really anything that you should be bothered with. Over time, you're going to adapt to it. It's going to be a lot easier. So anyways, let me know in the comment section below what is your stance on the matter, sub versus dub. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, maybe I'll take your advice and just try to give some of these other animes I didn't like gay one and done two because for watching stuff, only a try. Like, one of them was I, I remember it was Ray Zero. I might give that another try, maybe. There's another one they have that's that was uh, double. Oh, yeah. Um, this is North Star, the original. They only have like many dub episodes. I'll make it that a try. I felt weird because I guess I was watching with my mom and she was like, Why are you watching this shit? I'm like, yeah, it felt that felt a little uh, uh, easy for me too. So yeah. Um, other than that, I guess I see where you're going. Like, I guess with sub, you gotta t it takes time. I mean, I guess I don't know. Man, I'm playing time, but like I said, most of them is a light or have dub version. So I'm gonna watch the dub version though. I mean, <laughs> even like some like way is like way advanced. Oh, is that my fidget spinning? My bad. It's way advanced in the episodes, but I still if they had a dub version, I'm gonna watch the dub. Like, like okay, I'm gonna watch the dub, but it don't matter. But other than that, but I say that's like I say I will, but I will like take a chance with some of the episodes, super like later episodes, like as a point of fight. Like I'm gonna have finished you watch the next episode. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm going to have to eventually watch the next episode of um, Super because the damn Jiren and VJ fight and prolong to another episode. They ain't do like a two, a back to back two, one hour episode, like a back two episode in one hour, like they did with um, Jiren and, and Goku. But I guess I gotta watch this, watch it again. Now, it was a pain in the ass because I was doing that in iron. It was a pain in the ass to watch this because I was doing it in the morning while I was getting ready to go to church and it was a pain. So. I give it another try. It ain't just a, what did with Dragon Ball Super. It ain't just a damn. It's not just a subtitle struggle too, which is a problem as well. It's that damn. It's like I can't take the voices, man. Like especially what hurts me. It's bad enough again. I really can't take Goku's and Gohan voice. Cause I found out the same person. Respect to the the eighty old lady that does the voices. You know that's right there. But nah, can't I can't take that as a male voice though. And None of the another one is, is Krillin song sound like a, still sound like a girl because it's voiced by another girl. But what hurts me more is hearing 
Piccolo, not what a heavy voice like I do. Not what a low voice like I do. I'm a big fan of both Chris Sabin and Scotty, Mid Scotty McNeil's Piccolo. I'm used to it with a low voice and growly. But the Japanese version do not sound like that at all. I'm going to hurt right that. Other than one, I can say, is uh, Master Roshi not sound like a, a dirty old man. <laughs> well, other than that, I'm really hurt more about the Piccolo Japanese voice, in my opinion. So, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.